These right here are the Tozo, Tozo, Tozo H2, a budget-friendly 55 euro headphone that comes with ANC, 40 mm dynamic drivers, high-res audio certification and a host of other different features. I had these actually sitting on my shelves for roughly two months now and completely forgot them, so excuse me for being late to the review of these. Since uh, these actually look pretty good in terms of specs, I'm going to compare them with my budget favorite, the Edifier 700 and B in terms of ANC and sound quality. Right Right after the intro. Totso, which is a name I haven't actually heard before, they sent over this pair of headphones. But I won't forget the name since their first over headphones are quite good for the low price of 55 euros. Design wise, I like them. Pretty laid back. No big design flaws or things making them stand out too much, but rather relaxed, simple forms, and the logo in a shiny silver on the cups looks pretty nice as well. The pleather on the top cushioning as well as the two ear cups feel solid as well. There isn't much springiness to it, but wearing them on my head for three hours was fine and I had no aches whatsoever. These are also foldable headphones, which makes them easier for you to carry them around without damaging them. The only thing I don't like from these headphones uh, design-wise is the click mechanism for the headphones. I really like the stepless ones, but these aren't. But at least Totso added the scale onto it so that it gets easier to have both cups adjusted to the same length. Also the plastic on these for budget headphones actually feels quite sturdy. Now when it comes to features, these, as most budget over ear headphones nowadays, have almost everything. It's just a question of how good is actually everything. Let's quickly get done with mentioning all the features and then get into the real meat of using the headphones. They come in with 60 hours of playtime without ANC and 40 hours with ANC on, which comes down to 35 hours of real world usage, but that's plenty of listening sessions before you have to actually recharge them. They can be connected both wirelessly as well as per 3.5mm jack, which actually is included in the box. They also have multi-point connection with two different devices at once, switching between my MacBook and my Nothing Phone 2A was good, switching between both iOS devices was better. And that's almost everything we need to talk about in terms of features. Let's quickly go over the Totso app, which has quite a lot of functions, but also a lot of unnecessary things crammed into it, like a slider where you are able to buy more products, a community tab, and so on. It's the hallmark of a cheaper headphone when the app is actually crammed full of things to actually sell to you, especially when you are already a customer. Now when it comes to useful things, the app provides six different modes for ANC and transparency, as well as an adaptive mode and wind noise reduction. It sounds like much, but overall it's ANC on, off or somewhere in the middle, or let the app do some adjustments on their own. I've just used the ANC on the most important setting and for a budget headphone in the 50 euros range, it's pretty good actually. It can get rid of most really annoying low and mid tones, but isn't as good as most other high-end priced models. But um, here for yourself and uh, also a comparison with the Edifier 700 and B's A and C, wow, what a, what a mouthful in a direct comparison. Now, the app lets you actually choose between 16 different equalizer settings. For the following audio comparison, I use the most neutral one there is. But there's plenty of options to choose from to make them sound more to your taste. Before we talk about sound quality, let's quickly go over the mics of these headphones. So here's a small example of how they would sound when the audio is directly recorded from a phone call. It's pretty much okay in my opinion, but uh, what do you think? Write it down in the comments below. And now finally, sound quality. 
you pretty much get what you expect, which is great. The sound is pretty full, there's a distinct bass in everything you hear that isn't too powerful but also not underwhelming. And the modes are giving you everything you'd want from a good pair of headphones. The only thing that is a bit, well, much in my opinion are the highs, which are a bit cranked when using them on the most neutral settings. But let's hear for yourself in a comparison with the Edifier 700 NBs and then we get into my final conclusion on these headphones. <laughs> Conclusion, for 55 euros it's a pretty well rounded package overall and uh, I have to say it's absolutely worth the money if you are looking for a good enough budget headphone that brings most of the features in a good enough package. Now sound wise I'm still rather picking the Edifier 700 NBs since they have the edge in terms of overall quality with better mids and highs. But nonetheless this is a really good budget headphone and it's only 55 euros. So if you enjoyed this video then make sure to subscribe to this channel. There are plenty more of this type of content and of course many other things available for you to watch. Have a great day, see you around and goodbye.